What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And what I want to do is get into Lightroom to show you a very important tool that I use a lot. And I feel like a lot of people don't because they don't know the power of it. I am talking about the linear gradient tool. Now I'm going to show you how I was able to take this image and turn it to this image with just the linear gradient and if you stick around and subscribe to my channel, maybe I'll show you how I even turned it to this image. Let's get to the computer and go ahead on and start working. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to show you what this image looked like straight out of camera. Now, as you can see, very bright on both sides, right? So I don't want to go through the whole editing process. This video is strictly about linear gradients, okay? So boom. I edited it. This is what it came out to. Now I want this side to be more shadowy, right? I want it to be as if I came on this side, the left side with light and brought some shadow to this side. And we're going to do this really quick and simple with something called a linear gradient. So we're going to go ahead on click this masking tool and then click where it says linear gradient. Okay very important we're going to set our preset to exposure and i just want to show you in case if you never use this tool or any tool let me just show you now with this if you see this middle line this middle line going all the way to the right is the full effect of whatever we do okay now this middle line going all the way to the left is what we call the feather okay so it it is the way that we make things blend properly and i want to give you an example of that right because things could go really wrong basically let's say i do something like this you see that it doesn't feather right you can even see it like right up here in, in the area at the top it doesn't feather right it's not blending in right okay so what we're going to want to make sure that we do is we're going to stretch it okay because remember the middle side to the to the right is the full effect and then the middle side to the left is the feather and that's how we could get it to be you know look really good so i'm, I'm just gonna pull this a little bit now let's check a before and after to see what we're doing so far okay okay so that's before and that's after and as you can see you know we have this nice little shadow on that side like i want it okay real easy but i want to clean this up because i don't want to just give you with you know leave you with this and then you're like hey now look at the background i don't like the way that look and plus i want to do some things to the background anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new mask and we are going to uh select sub uh select background okay select background and one is you know i really wanted this to be a nice gray so i'm gonna take the saturation of that down make it a beautiful gray and probably bump a little exposure up okay yeah something like that give it give it you know a feel as if we pop some light on that background now as you see this side you know the left side is nice but the right side is still kind of dark okay so what i'm going to do for that is i'm going to actually create another mask select background again and what i want to do this time is i want to subtract right so we're going to subtract we're going to grab this brush and we're going to get rid of this because we don't want to touch this we're, we're fine we're satisfied with how that looks okay and and just let you know with this brush tool it's the same thing everything in the middle is the full effect and everything from that middle circle to the outside circle is the feather and that's really important what we, what we are about to do so i'm going to push this up a little bit right because we want to match it and i think about right here we'll be matching it and what we're going to do is we're going to come just with this feather and we're just going to feather that little area right there to blend it because that's all we're doing with the feather tool. Now we got it even. You see how it's like an even gray now? And, and that will be it. Now, that's how I will come with this. And now with this, you can even, you know, as you increase or decrease your exposure, we're still keeping that shadow on this side. The shadow will get a little brighter. You know, and it can still get a little darker as well, but it's all on how you would want to do this image. And from there, you could go ahead on, take it to Photoshop and really get in the skin and, you know, essentially make the image look exactly the way I made it look in the end. Now, that's not all we could do with the linear gradient tool. 
Let me show you another way that I like to use this for flash photography when the bottom half of the photo is a little bit too dark. Let's jump back onto the computer. Now, another way that we can use this amazing tool is like this. Now, if you do a lot of off camera flash photography, you may know what I mean. So let me explain what's going on and exactly what it is that I would even wanna fix, right? So as I lit her, as you can tell, all of this area right here was lit good. You can see the white right here and see how defined that is. But if you come down here, this is kind of sort of that drop off area, right? Especially when we shoot with smaller soft boxes and stuff like that. We like the face and then we get this shadow at the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing. Come over here to masking, come over here to linear gradient, switch it on over to exposure. And we're just going to lift this thing up. Okay. And I'm going to give it a lot of room to feather and I'm going to put it up until I feel confident with what we have. Right. And sometimes this isn't a lot, but just enough to get it exactly where we want it. So let me bring this down a little bit, actually, right there, because we wanted to we wanted to, as you can see what it's doing, we, we wanted to be able to. OK, I guess we can't see what it's doing. <laughs> there we go. We wanted to be able to hit this whole area right here. And as it get to the good areas that's already lit properly, we want it to fall off. And then what that gives us is going from something that looks like this to something like that. And it's way more even. And if you wanted to, you could kind of sort of do it with this. I wouldn't really suggest it because I like the way that this looks right now. But if you didn't you could do it with this or maybe you want to just use a brush if you want it you know her, her job to be more white as well um but this is a good way like i said that's before that's after and now we have an even you know look with the flash so these are the ways that i like to use it uh when i use the linear gradient tool a lot of times when we use off camera flash or, or on camera flash and we take a picture of somebody the bottom portion of it be a little bit darker as well and then you can use this tool to easily go ahead on and do that or even if you have people in a group together i love to use linear gradients in that situation as well now i hope that you enjoyed that and if so go ahead on and throw a like on the video and subscribe for future videos like this as well until the next time peace